Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I would ex- I expected to be live at this time, but as y'all know, I've been running a few tests, and they have not come out um, <laughs> correct, okay? So I'm going to have to wait till I get my uh, question answered. Before I can go live, because I don't know if somebody else have the answer out there, maybe they can let me know the difference in me using my webcam or my sh- live stream um, with the live with the, uh, you know, it's just showing a, a filter of a of a, a software that I'm using and it's not actually showing my face. So I really want to talk about this uh, James Cleveland, Eddie Long, um, Isaac Douglas, whoever else y'all want to put in there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I really do want to have a conversation, okay? Um, I realize that a lot of y'all are very upset with me because of the uh, comments that I made about the Reverend James Cleveland. As I said before, I do not despise or um, not like James Cleveland, which I don't really feel that I need to go over and over and explain. I'm a great fan of his music. I'm just not a fan of some of the behaviors, that the, the proclivities, and those proclivities led to certain behaviors that I I think that needs to be addressed, and that's why I addressed. Now, a lot of y'all didn't like that. However, I have enough experience in church, being the PK myself, that I really don't want to hear it, Cletus. Um, too many people that I'm aware of um, had their first sexual experience in church with adults. There's too many people that I know have been molested in the church, by people in the church with high positions. Um, There are too many uh, pastors, should I say, that are on the down low. Okay. And the reason these things, I'm not hearing the call bad or good. I'm just saying the reason these things happen is because people don't want to give an account to their behavior. Okay. And some of them, if they did give account for their behavior or whatever their proclivities are, they wouldn't be accepted. And they know that. So when you have a situation like that, then, of course, you are going to sneak. And sex is such a powerful urge that um, people have been known to kill. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make. When I said that we're going to talk about this was not to uh, put James Cleveland in the walk of shame. It is for all my church folks to get their asses up out of a denial. OK, because y'all in a lot of damn denial when it comes to um, the Reverend James Cleveland. If it's one thing I want to do as I'm presenting these videos, I want to grow. I want to see myself as an evolving being. Um, I don't want to be. um uh, uh, ashamed of some of my past behaviors because I realize that those are the behaviors that I'm that are making me grow and I have grown because of the experiences. Okay, and that's what a lot of y'all got to understand. This there's experiences and then there's the experiencer. Okay, so there's a lot of experiences that you may have, but there's a certain part of you that is un- remains untouched, and you have to know that. And that does not allow you to um, uh, 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 um, be angry when people point out the bad behaviors that you have exhibited over the years. Um, does not mean that, uh, you know, in certain situations, people can grow, people can change. However, I think a lot of times when you in fall sex in the mix and it's a suppressed sexual content that makes it all the more difficult 
If y'all don't think Luther Vandross, and if you don't think that Whitney Houston lived a very, very um hidden life, then that just goes to show you just how closed and 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 and, and lock minded that you are. And it is the reason it is paramount that you understand that that is part and parcel the reason why people can't be honest with how they feel. Okay? And in my opinion, if you are not molesting children or having these proclivities with children, there's no way and reason for me to have a conversation about these things. However, if you are an adult and you are um, uh, 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 mixing children, mixing teenagers, um, then you have to be dealt with. And you have to be talked about. And you have some explaining to do. Okay? Because in most cases um, in the United States, people are arrested. Okay? Um, there are people, too many people in my church have been arrested for that kind of behavior. In my church. Okay? I won't mention names because I don't do that. But there are people that I grew up with that have gone to jail for certain things. So this is not no um, uh, 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 new behavior, but what a lot of black people want to do as hypocrites is want to stay in the damn Catholic church and talk about the Catholic church and the priests. But they don't want to talk about the pastors and the people and the deacons and the, and the ministers and the missionaries. Okay? So we're going to work on this um, live stream, and, and if as long as you got your notifications um, bell uh, lock uh, touch, then you will get a notification because it's going to get done, and because y'all asking for it. And the more I look at these comments of uh, regarding it, then I know it's only befitting that I respond to some of the charges that you've charged me with, and some of the things that I think that a lot of people out there want to express themselves about growing up in the church. And I'm going to give them a platform to do just that. So uh, with that being said, leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next.